in the studio with us, we have the amazing Itoru Ugoji. Now, she's the CEO and team lead at the Baby Lounge, a leading provider of innovative solutions to childcare. Now, she started last week on this topic on the importance of nurturing the family bond, especially during the festive period. But right now, we're taking it further. We're discussing the importance of time and attention when it comes to children. Welcome back to the studio, Ituru. Thank you, Tizi. Thank you for having me again. Now, we've, what, we've had quite a few interesting discussions, but I think this one is really key for people to hear. The importance of time and attention. Um, so time and attention are actually two different things. I feel like a lot of parents think it's the same thing. So let's see if we can break that down. So time and attention, in a nutshell, it's um, being there and not being there. Mm. Okay. So um, time, you're spending time with the child, mm. but you're not really being there. So it's about engagement. So what do you do with the time? So we keep saying it's not about the quantity of time, but the quality of time. Okay. So while you're with the kids, you know, you have to make that time count, truly count. So how do you engage them? Mm. How do you interact with them? And it's, it's really not, you know, um, the expensive structured activities, okay. seemingly mundane activities like, you know, having, you know, heart to heart conversations, asking about their day or telling them about your own day. Mm. You know, um, those are experiences and memories you're creating for the kids. Okay, so you do have quite a few parents um, that are, I wouldn't say guilty of, but are prone to making sure they, for instance, bring things home for the children. So, you know, that question, okay, mommy, what did you bring for me? Daddy, what did you bring for me? And you give them something, even if it's plantain chips or something you, you know, were buying on the, on the way, maybe biscuits or whatever. Now, does this qualify as attention? Um, so like, okay, when you get home and you've given them something, then you're now going to your room and, you know, you're, you're good for the day. What do you think? So that's just a little bit of, mm. you know, the engagement. Mm. Um, so let's put it this way. You can actually have, you know, um, quality engagement with the kids mm. without those gifts. Okay. So how about your time mm. and your attention mm. and your presence being the real gift? Mm. So, you know, the extra gifts, I mean, those are extras, you know, the nice, you know, and then if you can afford them and um, if you um, if you remember to add them, that's a plus, definitely. But, you know, so you hear, that's why you hear kids saying, mommy, I'm talking to you, you're not listening. Mm. So, you, you know, and if you, if you actually engage those children, they'll prefer to have their parents you know, over and above those gifts. I would like to break down this festive period. Maybe we have a one week period to get a lot of things done. A lot of offices are closing down for the holidays, maybe one and a half weeks uh, in, most place, in most cases. So over that one and a half weeks, how much time do you think is adequate enough for mm. parents to spend with their children? If you can do the whole one and a half weeks, mm. fantastic. So again, we say it is not, you know, um, the length of time. Mm. It's, you know, what, what you, you do. do with, you know, the time that you truly have. And it's very important that you plan for this. Okay. You're intentional about it. It's because you'll be amazed at how the days slip by so quickly and um, the holidays are over mm. and you've, never, you've not created any real memories. You know, you've not had any experiences, you know, shared any real experiences with the children. So and I'm thinking we could make some suggestions um, of activities that would make sense um, during this period. So I'm maybe a new parent now and I don't really know how to get this engagement going. I don't know what exactly I could do with these children, apart from feeding and bathing them and putting them in front of the TV. A lot of parents don't actually know what to do with the children. Any activity suggestions? So how about starting with um, those routines that you currently have? How about starting with the feeding, bathing, you know, and putting them to bed? Now, if we pick each of these activities, we could create a truly rich and enriching experience. So putting to bed, for example, how about reading, you know, um, books to them? How about listening to audio stories with them? How about just chatting 
with them, you know, telling them about your day and asking, you know, discussing their own day. How about just talking about anything? Mm. Okay, meal times, how about getting them to be involved with prepping the meals, okay. setting the table? Mm. You know, um, there are fewer families eating together these days. Yeah, the dining table things. Absolutely, not the dining common. experience is almost extinct. Mm. So how about, you know, um, being intentional about having those meals together as a family and chatting over those meals? So there is that uh, issue of parents having quite a lot of children. Um, now, there are, on an average, you could say two, three children per household and more. How does a parent divide themselves into three or four children and give them an equal amount of attention? It feels almost impossible. So it, it's, it's not about splitting the children and having individual interactions with them. You can have those interactions you know, it, it just happens naturally that this is not OK. So you, you, you would plan to actually um, have um, an experience with the kids, but it's not a timetable that you're creating for each child. So how about having, you know, spontaneous activities? Just make sure that please keep your phones away. Oh, the phones. Keep the, the mobile devices away. Hmm. Or okay. reduce used to the barest minimum or get the children involved with you know when you're using your phones okay so it, it does seem to be eating into the time you could be spending absolutely with, with but of children. course ensure that you know whatever contents that you're sharing on the phone is age appropriate okay. and safe for the children all right then now itoro is going to be back again next week talking to us about strengthening this family bond when it comes to time and attention i just feel like there's never enough of it uh, hopefully we've been giving you we've given you some insight into what you can do this holiday with your kids.